YouTubers who have spent time in jail or prison. These are 10 YouTubers who have spent time behind bars, and we're gonna list them from three hours in jail to what the fuck is that? Time behind. What is that? What is this creature? What did he put on his cranium? And bars, and we're gonna list them from Logan three Paul hours Sniper in jail to 50 years in prison, beginning huh? with Sam Pepper and Ice Poseidon, who got arrested together for the dumbest reason imaginable. I'll be a prank. Back in mid 2018, Sam and Ice had the genius idea of hiding in a purple wooden Fortnite llama on wheels, so they could sneak past security into VidCon, where they'd stay and film a 24-hour overnight challenge. Everything seemed to That's be going actually well interesting. in the beginning. As Sam and Ice cruised into the convention, I'm not mad at it. and laughing at security through a little peephole however the two seem to forget that they were live streaming to thousands of people <laughs> no that is dumb that is dumb as hell that is dumb as hell it only take one call to vidcon to have their whole plan shut down this call would happen less than 10 minutes after getting inside which is followed by security and police walking straight up to them before they'd be arrested oh that is stupid as hell go ahead and step out yeah. come on fellas uh, what is all this? The two were taken back to the police station, banned from VidCon for life, and given a notice to appear in court, which eventually resulted in a further two years probation, a hundred dollars in fines, and eighty hours of community service. They gave them niggas a hundred dollars in fine. <laughs> them niggas basically told them to bring out two quarters, cause they are not tripping over no damn a hundred dollars. Sam Pepper and Ice Poseidon's arrest was short-sighted and idiotic. However, it still wasn't as stupid as the time Logan Paul was sent to jail for a whole day after getting arrested in Italy. It happened back in 2017 when Logan was in his obnoxious vlogger phase, and prior to the arrest, Logan's group had disrespected Italian norms, gotten kicked out of hotels, and had filmed locals. Wait, hold up. Logan Is this nigga just strip in front of everybody? I didn't really, I didn't watch Logan Paul at all. I don't watch Logan Paul. Like the only reason why I know know of him and anything he's done now is because he's affiliated with KSI. So I never I never experienced this of Logan Paul. What would y'all rate Logan Paul on a scale one to ten? group had disrespected Italian norms, gotten kicked out of hotels, and had filmed locals without their permission. So by the time the group made it to Italy's famous Colosseum, they were bound to get into trouble. Logan began by stating that he knew flying a drone over the Colosseum was illegal. I understand uh, drone shots here are illegal, so let's definitely do that. However, after putting the drone in the air anyway, the military were able to capture it. I found it. Military? Military has it. And Logan was arrested Military? after. Military? Fly of a drone yeah. in this uh, area is illegal. No bueno. We must uh, arrest you for this. Okay. After being released from jail later that afternoon, Logan was straight back to his idiotic self. Yo, I'm a savage, bro. Free my boy. I'm a savage, bro. Okay. Okay. In Russia, this nigga would have had 20 years. <laughs> Where the hell are they? Italy? Russia? Yep, 20 years. You can't stop, Logan! And if anything, seemed proud of what had happened. I went to jail, bro. I went, I've been in jail, bro. While Logan did have to spend a full day behind bars, his punishment wasn't nearly as bad as Sniper that Wolf's, who after being charged with armed robbery, had to spend multiple nights in jail. What? <laughs> Wait, 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 and this don't look nothing like her in her videos. Is she the same person now? Armed robbery, what the fuck? It happened back in 2013 before Sniper Wolf became a big YouTuber, and the incident was explained in a video appropriately titled My Jail Story. She explained that while shopping at a department store, she was asked by security to check her bag, yet since Sniper Wolf didn't want this to happen, she pushed the security guard and ran back to her car. He stopped me, asked for my bag. A nigga would have got shot. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> a nigga would have got shot. Wow. Who is calling my phone? What? I'm streaming. What's up? You thought I left? I 
bag and pulled it from me. I didn't know what to do. I just ran away and got in my car. Sniper Wolf seemed confident that she didn't actually have anything in her bag. I didn't even steal anything and they had no proof I did. Yet under the assumption that she was running because she'd stolen something, Sniper Wolf was arrested later that day. They took me to the, the police station armed jail. robbery. They took shots and they asked us a ton of questions. She was then charged with armed robbery. I was charged with armed robbery. How? They said it wasn't official charges. They could just pretty much charge us whatever they want right now. Before she'd be sent to a larger jail complex where she remained for three days before being released. I was in jail for almost three days. Yet this wouldn't be the last time that Sniper Wolf ended up behind bars. Because three years later, Sniper Wolf would take to Twitter to make a new post reading, so neighbors called the cops because they heard screaming and I got arrested for disorderly conduct. Lol at my mugshot though. What the hell? This post was followed by a video simply- No, nah, this point, I don't know Sniper Wolf. You might be doing something. I don't know. I don't know Sniper Wolf. It doesn't- Hey, two times, two times too many. I, I'm just saying. I, um. Arrested, in which Sniper Wolf explained that she'd been taken to jail for the night after getting into a petty fight with her boyfriend. So, of course, I was screaming. I was screaming. I got arrested for disorderly conduct. Because apparently, you're not allowed to scream in your own house. And while it definitely feels like Sniper Wolf isn't telling the full story about both of her jail terms, there's definitely no missing details for the next YouTuber who was sentenced. So, to Sonny basically just said she's a lying thought. That's what he said said that's like they that's literally what he said but sugarcoated it sonny you're not slick 15 months in prison for playing a prank on a homeless person. Back in 2017, a Spanish creator with over a million it. subscribers called Reset thought it would be a good idea to take the filling out of an Oreo, replace it with toothpaste, and give it to a homeless person. Despite stating that the toothpaste filled Oreo would help the homeless man clean his teeth, the community- What the fuck is wrong with this nigga, bro? He began to destroy Reset, creating a 125,000 signature petition to have his channel deleted. What the hell is wrong with him? A 19 million view video by or on play titled Reset the Most Stupid on Internet. However, Reset's worst punishment was still yet to come, as after the homeless man's daughter noticed the backlash on the internet, she'd take legal action against the YouTuber and Reset ended up in court. The, the homeless man's daughter. So your father is homeless and you're not helping him? I mean, I guess you don't have to. You don't have to. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that man. So I, I'm not going to judge. It's just interesting. It's just it. That, that's a very interesting uh, dynamic. Judge Rosa Aragonez noted that it was not an isolated event and the social media star had a propensity for cruel behavior and preying on easily or vulnerable victims. She found him guilty of violating the man's moral integrity. That's Reset facts. was sentenced to 15 months in prison and was ordered to pay 20,000 euros to the homeless man. He had a million Reset subs, 20k ain't nothing. Banned from all social media with this sentence commencing in June 2019, meaning he'll be able to return to YouTube in June 2024, although certainly you think we're gonna see him again? Reset, you just got one more year, buddy. I can't wait to see your return. With a downtrodden reputation. Beamscore was another million plus subscriber channel who managed to land themselves in prison, although for an even- Beamscore was another- 2024, although certainly with a downtrodden reputation. Beamscore was another million Beam plus Corp? subscriber channel who managed to land themselves in prison, although for an even longer time than Reset. The two owners of the family channel, Billy and Eva, were often seen on social media with luxury cars and extravagant homes, yet it turns out that not all of their money had been made through their YouTube channel. Because on the 23rd of February 2020. Oh, they said Beam Squad? I thought he was saying Memes Corp. I don't know what the fuck he was saying. Okay. Uh, let me let me uncover my ears for my bonnet. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, guys. They'd upload a video titled "We Kept This a Secret Long Enough." We were arrested, in which they'd explain that they had a court date for an unspecified charge. Yes, we okay. were arrested, and we have a very important date. We have a sentencing date that will change our lives forever, for the good or for the bad. A month later, it was revealed that the couple were being accused of identity theft and defrauding the government, having accessed or attempted to access social security accounts belonging to over 1,400 different individuals <gasps> without the victim's knowledge or authorization. Stealing <gasps> identities to to make money that was my hustle back then and i knew what i was doing was wrong but it was just i needed a way to make money a couple explain no you didn't no -uh. how many subs is that you had a year what the fuck you mean you needed to what are you talking about need is a very strong word Claim that all of this had happened five years prior to beginning YouTube, oh. although this didn't seem to matter to the judge who sentenced the couple to three years in prison. I got two years and Ivani got one year. 
I got a year and a day. She has a year and a day. As well as order them to pay back the $94,000 that they had stolen. In true uh, family channel fashion, they then use their time in prison as clickbait for content. Of yet course. this behavior wasn't nearly as bad as Russian YouTuber Ruslan Of Sokolovsky, course. I mean, shit, if I'm going to jail, shit, content, what the fuck? I mean, duh. Who was sentenced to three and a half years in prison for playing Pokemon Go in a church. In early August 2016, I did Sokolovsky not hear that right. Playing Pokemon Go I did not hear that right. Sokolovsky, who was sentenced to three and a half years in prison for playing Pokemon Go in a church. What the now, fuck, bro? He was in Russia? Okay, never mind. If he's in Russia, that makes sense. Early August 2016. That's a Russian Sokolovsky type. filmed a video type of himself fucking... catching Pokemon in Yekaterinburg's church on Cr crime. Blood. The video stirred up a controversy among believers while a criminal case was initiated in accordance with the Russian Criminal Code's articles, citing incitement to hatred and enmity, denigrating human dignity, as well as violating the right to freedom of conscience and religion. The alleged crime playing freedom Pokemon of conscience? Go I guess. An Orthodox church. Sokolovsky shared a YouTube video that showed him playing the smartphone game his video went viral and wait. prompted a police investigation wait. officials say wait 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 that nigga wasn't bothering nobody <laughs> like, like like he dead ass was just walking he didn't he didn't he, he, he wasn't bothering nobody do i edit my own videos 99 percent of them there's a video here and there that i don't edit for but 99 percent of my videos i definitely edit myself said the video was one of many by the young blogger that questioned or criticized the church. In May 2017, Ow. approximately one year after posting the Pokemon Go video, Roslyn was handed a 3.5 year suspended prison term, and while his 500,000 subscriber YouTube channel is pretty much dead these days, he's still yet to spend any time behind bars. Oh, okay, okay. He didn't spend no time behind bars, okay. On this list so far, although he was actually able oh. to the beast had a harsh these days, he's still yet to spend any time behind bars. Jens the Beast had a harsher sentence than Jens anyone else on this list so far, although he was actually able to use YouTube to improve his reputation that Jesus on the stomach? out of prison. Jens the Beast explained that his life began to spiral out of control following the death of his mother at the age of 24. He was sent to prison for the first time back in 2009 after getting into an altercation with the nightclub bouncer, yet after finishing this first prison stint, he was sent back two more times, totaling four years spent behind Behind bars. During his final stint, Jens made the decision to get his life together. The last prison sentence that I got, I used a lot of my time finding myself with cognitive therapy and anger management. Dude, what like the that. fuck? So <laughs> I cleared up my mind, decided that I'm not going back. And after being released from prison, he launched his own coaching program before joining Rich Piano's 5% Nutrition Group. And with the assistance of YouTube and Instagram, Jens was able to turn his life around completely. Less than three years ago, I was released from prison. And now I got two companies going, working with clients all over the world and doing expos and got so many fans and followers. So just, I'm really, really grateful. However, while Jens is okay. certainly one of the scariest looking people on the 100%. platform, his four years in prison still seems minor when compared to Saucy and Honey, who are- hundred percent the, the scariest man I probably on this platform because I'm looking at that nigga I'm just like oh, okay facing a seven-year sentence for a YouTube prank this may have been fun for those youtubers but tonight they are facing some serious felony charges and up to seven years in jail in February 2022 the 25,000 subscriber channel posted a video titled 24 hour overnight challenge in Target <laughs> The night in Target. Oh, uh, I heard those videos at one point. 25 hours overnight used to go viral. You know what's crazy about them though? They are so easy to fake because the videos in total like eight, 10 minutes long. That means you need a total of only 15 minutes in Target. Just get like like some uh get like uh help from like a manager or some shit. 10, 15 minutes at nighttime, then 10, 15 minutes at day, edit it, and then you're good. They're so easy to fake. We're gonna spend overnight in Target. After introducing the video, the two would hide in the store and wait for it to close. They then walk around filming themselves before walking out in the morning, stating that they had been there all night. We successfully completed our overnight challenge in Target! The video went up like any other. However, the couple was arrested after the video was watched by police. West okay. Whiteland police saw the video and arrested Johnson LaRose and Charlotte Fisher for it was just Photoshop. trespassing and conspiracy. It was, it, trespass it was Photoshop. Third degree. They're, not, they're not entitled to be there, um, so th which makes it a crime. Not only did the news expose their challenge as fake, using security camera footage which showed them leaving the store at 3 a.m., but after being arrested, the two were charged with criminal trespassing, conspiracy, and are now facing up to seven years in prison. 
So it was fake. They left at 3 a.m. So I figured it was fake. Like, it didn't have to be. It, it wasn't going to be real. Seven years? Interesting. I don't know how to feel about that. Considering they didn't steal anything, seven years is kind of crazy. I feel like people get less time after stealing. So I don't know. However, seven years is still nothing when compared to Wes Watson, whose 10 years in prison acted as a basis for him to become a multi-multi-millionaire. Of course now, Wes was already a millionaire prior to entering prison. However, this money had been earned via illegal activity and would therefore also become the reason for his time behind bars. This After nigga looked like a mafia boss. prison system, Wes decided that he was ready to get his life together and instead of taking on a normal post-prison job, he instead created a YouTube channel titled GP Penitentiary Life Wes Watson. Watson, where he began to tell stories about what prison was really like. His ideal prison-like image helped all of his videos to explode in popularity. <laughs> prison-like image is crazy, bro. That I would never want to be described as that. If someone called me that, bro, racism immediately, bro. There's so many race cards getting played. Golly. So I went on that YouTube channel and it blew up. Every video got millions of views. I got 100,000 subscribers in 28 days. And with his physique also being in a very enviable position from his time away, Wes sold fitness programs and coaching via his social media channels. Wes also put out a book and only three years after being released from prison, Wes had once again become a multi-millionaire. That's why I've been able to make myself a millionaire and stay fit this quick. Three years after doing 10 years in prison. Everybody told me, Wes, get a real job. Like, how Bro, your veins are popping out. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Your veins, your veins are popping out crazy. How are you going to support a family online coaching? Ha! Which accompanied a whole new series of videos in which Wes preaches the importance of good habits in the most brutally honest way possible. You will have zero value in your life. Zero worth if you don't put the work in. If you crack that bottle and think it's going to do it, massive downside. Hey, look at me. I'm having so much fun. We know how you look in the morning throwing up in the toilet, looking at your bank account all. However, while prison led Wes Watson to become a- What the hell is this nigga talking about? What the hell is- What is he talking about, bro? Successful motivational speaker for the final YouTuber on our list, the opposite happened, and being a motivational speaker led him into prison. What? He was a Mexican YouTuber by the name of Jaman Loera MX, and as mentioned previously, he was known for posting motivational and He's posted five videos. Is he really would it takes five videos to be considered okay? He's only posted five. Like he's not a YouTuber, he's a motivational speaker who posted on YouTube. What are we talking about? business content to his channel with over 5,000 subscribers. However, instead of engaging in legitimate business practice, Jaman instead decided to make money by kidnapping someone and holding them. Wow! <laughs> I did not see that one. I did not see that one coming. Okay. All right. I'm glad you chose this man. You know, I was talking crap earlier. I'm, 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 I'm happy with your decision. Them for a hundred thousand dollars, Jaman instead decided to make money by kidnapping someone and holding them for a hundred thousand dollar ransom. Two days after doing so, he was caught by police and was sentenced to fifty years in prison, where he remains to this day. Damn. Damn. You know what? What do they say? If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Sniper Wolf, I think there's something fishy behind your cases, though. <laughs> I'm not going to let that slide. I think I think there's some deeper things behind your cases, Sniper. I won't say too much. She could, she could get my ass whacked. 